Hi guys, uh, just thought I might do a quick um, tips video here on some stuff within Sprint Layout. Uh, just a few little things that I've noticed um, with this last layout. Um, this was the uh, previous version before I send it back to um, uh, OS and I just guess somehow along the line between this version and this version I know there's some uh, changes and stuff moving around with some of these holes and all that sort of stuff but everything just seemed to have gone out of alignment because like th these these holes here it's not exactly right um, and if you measure from here to here it's not it's not it's not following the UMS it's not an exact number you can see it's 20.135 59 point something and um, I'm not too sure how that's all gone gone out so from here to here this isn't no real round numbers they're just sort of dragged and dropped I'm not really sure why um, but I'm just going to try and show you how you can fix up this sort of thing. Uh, the other issue is, is like th this center is not actually uh, lined up. Like these centers, if you have a look on the board here, this center is not actually the center of the of the hole. So um, the, the the outside ring is not the center. So you need to make sure you've got this capture button enabled down here, so that that'll actually snap onto the center of the circle. No matter even if you come close to it, it'll snap on. So um, that that's another thing that's sort of out on the board. The the actual header doesn't actually line up with the with the board. You you line you put this up over here, and this doesn't this doesn't line up. It doesn't it doesn't line up. And these holes aren't even the same pitch all the way down. If you you put this down here, and you start measuring these holes, you start measuring this 2.54. Right, that's okay. 2.54. That's all right. 2.58, okay, we've gone a bit out now. 2.46, 2.58, so it's, it's it's just out. And what I want to try and show you is sprint layout is a little bit of a pain. There's no denying that to move things around. But I'll just show you a little tip that I use to get things spot on and, and accurate. <clears throat> now, let's say we wanted to put this exactly on top of there. We want to move some type of geometry on top of to something else or line something up exactly let's say we wanted to make this exactly vertical with this point here without snapping it oops without snapping it onto it first and without snapping it onto it first and then clicking on it and moving it up like that that's what I normally would do but just for an exercise to understand the, the, the methodology what I do is I use my measure tool and I come down here and I measure what this distance is oh we've got a grid on here so it's it's not really right. I'll just drag. I'll just drag an arbitrary. I'll just drag an arbitrary number here like this, and just let it go. So it's not on the grid. And I'll draw it, drag this one somewhere as so it's not on the grid now. So when we measure between here and here, we're going to get some random number six point five seven two, right? So what you do is you make a custom grid spacing. You go to here, you go to user, and you scroll all the way down. You can see all these multiple grid spacings that I've made over time, and you just go down to here. And you just go down to the bottom and you hit on the once it eventually gets to the bottom. It, it won't be that long if you haven't got that many, but it's uh, 6.572. So you do that. And now you click on here and you just use your arrow key. So you've made this custom grid that's spacing you need. You just use your arrow key and move it to the side. Now it's exactly right. So now when you move it and you measure this, this will be exactly right. Sometimes you might get 0 0.001 which is fine, all I do is I've got another, just make another grid uh, point triple zero one. Um, occasionally you'll get that, let me just double check it was yes, uh, zero zero one. Occasionally you'll get that. Uh, if you do, just do it. You might have to hold shift in to get a half grid spacing and then just move it and then uh, measure it and then there it is, it's spot on, right? So sometimes you have to hold shift in because it's it's halfway between those two numbers because you did a drag. Anyway, so that's that's that is exactly spot on. Now in the Y dimension we want five ten point two four seven. Now um, sprint layout only lets you move a maximum of ten mil at a time. So let's just move it a bit closer and then measure it again. Um, what have we got? Two point seven four seven. Okay, so we make a grid spacing 2.47 2.472 sorry I just uh, didn't write it down 
2.4. Oh man, kids are kids are making noise in the background here. 7.7. Kids are making a noise in the background. <laughs> Two point. Okay. Um. So then we now we should be able to move that down exactly, right? So click on there, move it down, and there we go. So that one's exactly right. So the other thing I noticed was this creepage up here. So uh, when we're dealing between 64 and 84 volts, uh, sorry, 64 and 81 volts potential, which uh, you would have obviously between this uh, terminal here and ground, uh, you could have that, that potential. What you do is you drag, you can drag this on as a guide to help you when you're designing. Oh, you wouldn't have a as a component, you would just drag it on like that as a macro, right? And uh, we just need to put our group spacing back to some reasonable number. And what I do is I set this to uh, layer, say, S2, and that way when you turn off your um, other layers or some stuff like that and you're working on this, you would you can actually drag this around and you can see, you can just see that this is not going to work, right? You can set yourself up with a few of these around the place and you can see what's going on to make sure that you have the required clearance if you want a little bit more to be safe I when I did this area uh, I had it set up to be um, one point you can see some of my old little things here just between ground you can see here between uh, ground and ground you're only going to need it um, point three doesn't really matter there's no real gap there so that's that's all going to work but um, down here, it just seems to be a little bit of an issue. Um, so you can use your DRC checker, set your distance to say 1.3 or whatever it is that you're interested in, and then it'll highlight all these different areas that are that it you know that it's found without a, the gap being close enough. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be enough. There's a few other things that I've noticed in this layout which probably haven't got time to go through right now. But mainly I just wanted to try and